What's going on, guys? We are back today with another showcase video for you, and I want to take a look at one of the newer cards. Not brand new, but I have been meaning to do a video on it, and it's Sand Dollar. I think this is a pretty cool card. This is kind of one of them cards I wish they'd make more of, just different types and different, different, you know, different things it's buffing or different exactly number amounts. I just I, I like this idea. So when played, if your deck has exactly five oceans. And seize cards, your non-oceans and seize cards, wherever they are, gain plus 10 until played. So I kind of like that idea, like I said, of exactly five, and then it's buffing everything else. Or uh, It's just a cool card, kind of like Talos, but not for uh, exactly nine. So it kind of pushes into that exactly five, which I think is pretty neat. And works perfect with Jin. So made a little Jin deck here. When played, if your deck has five or more space cards, your life on land cards get plus 15. Uh, if your deck has five or more life on land cards, your oceans get plus 15. And then if you're, you have five or more oceans, your space cards get plus 15. So you can see what we're doing here. We're building a space life on land oceans deck here. And uh, you guys know I love Haru specs, right? Kind of works perfect with that five life on land thing, right? So when played, if your deck has five or more life on land cards, uh, your life on land cards, wherever they are, they lose the 15 perm. All other cards, wherever they are, gain plus 10 perm. So we're going to sacrifice those life on land cards to buff all of our other cards, plus 10. And again, these we selected specific life on land cards that we don't mind being sacrificed, right? So it's kind of the idea. Cosmic Engine, when played, three of your random history cards, three of your random oceans and seas cards, wherever they are, gain plus 13 perm, so buffing up a couple, uh, two history cards and some oceans cards here, so that'll be nice. Uh, jumping down to Pando again, a sacrifice card, this card loses 85 perm, and all your other cards in your deck get that plus 5 perm. Yellow Jacket, just a, a nice card, if it doesn't have any power, who cares? Still has a good ability and can still sit in your hand as a hold card, digging your opponent five until played. We've got the moon in this deck, uh, along with uh, the Chang E Rem Sleep combo. So you can see Rem Sleep. If you've played the moon this game, your cards in hand gain plus 22, cost plus one perm. And Chang E, if played next to the moon, your cards in hand get that plus 14 perm. So again, more permanent power here. On the back of Dolly, also given plus 8 and plus 16 occasionally, perm power. You've got Yeti, when played, your opponent loses 5 perm, and your cards in hand with 7 or more uh, base energy get that plus 20 until played. So you can see several cards in this deck that are uh, 7 or, or higher. We've got two 8s down here, 10, two 7s, another 8, so it's, it's hitting quite a bit. Uh, what else? We've got Big Finn uh, in the Cephalopod package here. Going to get that plus two perm energy. Mimic Octopus, mainly just an eight drop, but does steal four. Could be relevant, but probably not really this week. Uh, Flapjack Octopus, when drawing your Cephalopods, get that plus 16, cost minus one. And then our Colossal Squid's going to buff our Epic and Legendary Cephalopods. 18 perm, so more permanent buff there going on. Green Witch, just a great, uh, nice cheap card. Can get quite large in this deck. Uh, super Massive Black Hole does combo with a secret ability with Sidonia. So that's nice. If you hold Sidonia all game, that's going to be like our finisher. And then Super Massive does buff it along with other stuff as well. So... Works pretty good. I like this little deck. Sweet little brew. Does show off Sand Dollar quite nicely. Let's go try her out. See what you guys think. But uh, yeah, been uh, been a little slacking again lately. Just haven't been motivated to do tons of videos. So uh, bear with me. Just on vacation mode right now. So probably, uh, I don't know. We'll see if, if I, I'm off all this week from work. So we'll see if I can get motivated to do some other videos or not for you guys. We'll see. I'm kind of just taking it easy right now. <clears throat> but yeah, anyway, what else is good? been playing some Wild Rift on my phone. I I've been liking that. Also, if you guys are into trading card games, like kind of like this, I guess, but 
Uh, Disney Lorcana just dropped their new expansion, so we went ahead and bought some of those cards as well, so that was pretty fun opening those up. Did pull a nice enchanted card out of there, if you guys are aware what aware of what that is. It's pretty cool. Nice, expensive, big, fatty card came out of there. So I'll probably put that one card on eBay or something, try to sell that. Hopefully pays for most of the box. So that'd be pretty cool. I did download uh, Lorcana on my PC. So that's it's been pretty fun actually playing it on the PC. Uh, there's a little backdoor, like Pixelborn, I think it's called, to, to play it. It's pretty fun. Mm, let's see here. So yeah, secret ability right there. Hits Sidonia plus 30 additional. What are we up against here? Uh, riding the Waves deck, huh? Interesting. You don't see those very often. All right, let's go ahead and get this Pando down. Get the buff. All right, looks like we got round one. I'll take it. But yeah, we, my household's been primarily still trying to recover from the sickness we had. So I think my, uh, my oldest son left from school early again today. It's not feeling good, so it's a little unfortunate. He's still rocking something. There's some Galileo. Okay. Nice to get that Chang E. There it is. Perfect timing. That's what I was hoping for. So we can get this moon out of our hand. Get these cycling next to each other. Ooh, good turn for him there. Dang. He's riding the waves, getting a little big here. Is that deck finally viable? Ooh, nice. Am I going to get beat by a Riding the Waves deck? What is going on right now? Is this real life? <laughs> is this real life? What's going on? Riding the Waves? Who would have thunk it? All right, well. All right, you know, if he beats me, he beats me. He's got that red sky morning. Okay. Good card. Do it like this. Sedonia getting quite quite big. It's gonna be a nice finisher for us. Dang, look at the power he's putting down. Spanish Armada getting quite large. Alright. I'm gonna hold Pando. I don't I don't want to risk losing this round here. We might still. It's very possible here. Okay, I think we got it. All right, well, Sidonia should win the one of these next two rounds for us. Let's see. If we start off with Pando, maybe we just throw this round four. Let's see how we look, though.
Yeah, he's got a good jump here. Probably won't try to risk Sidonia this round. We play it and lose, man. Ooh, that would feel really bad. Just keep buffing. Yeah, he just hit 600 there. Yeah, we're waiting until next round for sure. There's no reason to risk it. Let's get you gone. Let's just play our lowest cards here. I didn't see any lock to worry about, so I think we're okay holding Sidonia. All right, here we go, last round. Ooh, we got the black hole too, that's nice. Give us another buff. I think we got it, we're scaling pretty nicely here. You can see these cards get really big towards the late game. All these permanent buffs we're hitting. Let's do it like this, and we got Sidonia for last round. He's putting up a fight with that deck, though. Man, I'm really kind of surprised how hard that Riding Waves is hitting. Spanish Armada looking juicy. I think we got you, though, buddy. Oh, what's doing the most here? What are you hitting? You're hitting plus 20s with an 86. You're doing minus 24s. So this probably is harder. Okay. There it is. Not too shabby. What was that? Uh, that was a pretty good round three. 2100, I'll take that. <laughs> All right, let's do one more, see if we can uh, pull another win out of the bag here. Fun little deck, I like it. Like I said, I've been loving this Haru Specs card. The more I play with it, the more I really like it. Just I love the sacrifice idea of, you know, you're killing five cards in your deck, but, you know, you're still getting something from them. Oh, it just feels kind of cool. I know you guys probably burn out on me playing those, but... I don't know, what you guys think of Sand Dollar there? Felt decent. Wasn't too shabby. Plus 10 until played on most of my deck. All right, let's see here. Do it like that. It's like this and like that. Sidonia on the first turn. This thing's going to be huge by the end of the game. All right, he's off to a lead. All right, good timing on Greenwich here. deck hits pretty hard early man look at that Whew. thing slaps but I don't know that it scales too great into the late game
But he's going to get these early rounds, that's for sure. All right, need to draw on a Chang E here for our moon. Super black hole would be nice, too. Start getting that Sidonia nice and big. There's, there's one of them. All right, well, Mimic's live. Did lose the turn. Maybe that slows him down a little bit. Uh, still no Chang, so that kind of screwed up my REM sleep there. That's really unfortunate. And we might lose this this round too, huh? Definitely looking like it. Some bad turn sequencing there. Looks like he got us. All right, well, now we got to win the next one. This is definitely going to be a little tougher. Don't like losing the first two on the rip, but Paleo hits pretty hard. Do we drop this Pando? It's risky. We can get behind. Now, let's hold it for now. Let's see if we can get a little in lead here off the rip. Put us in a little better spot, maybe. I hate to play that Sidonia if I don't have to. Oof. Keeping up with us. Let's see what we draw. This is definitely risky here. Might have to play it. Ooh, it's definitely questionable. What's that? 380? Yeah, he could definitely beat that. Do we risk it? I think we risk it. You guys see that we could we could have won this round or this round. We probably won't though. We'll probably Yeah, we screwed up. Dang it. Should have just played Sidonia. Oh well. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the deck and the content. As always, please hit that like button and that subscribe button. And uh, thanks for watching guys. Till next time. <laughs>